Welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Hort Billeron here on Farming Simulator 22. And we are continuing on with where we left off in the last episode. And that is we are going to finish prepping some of our fields. This field up here, field 44, is uh, a recent addition to the farm. In fact, it was just last episode. So if we are going to come over here, we've just ploughed it. We're now going to come over and get rid of all the stones. And then uh, we can continue prepping or looking at prepping what we're going to do with this field um, following this but uh, we've also got uh, another field over there to finish uh, removing stones and we've got two fields over there to um, plow in so uh, we've got plenty of work to do and uh, we're just going to get started here on this uh, I'm going to do some of this field and then we'll probably um, hand over to a hired hand and go and do some plowing but uh, for now We'll just uh, get some of this done and out of the way. Alright, off we go. Hope everyone is doing well. We are doing well. We're um, going to uh, get through these videos and get through the series. And I hope you're enjoying the series, both this and Elm Creek. Um, we're enjoying playing it and uh, I just want to remind you of the lovely view we have of this field uh, we noticed in the last episode but uh, we do have a good view Look at those bright red wheel rims on the uh, the zero um, we do have a good view over the farm and surrounding areas on the top of this field so it's uh, quite nice but uh, we're not here to admire the views we're just here to pick up some stones so uh, we're going to continue Get that done as best we possibly can as quickly as we possibly can because we've got lots of other work to get done as well so i think today may be a bit of a stony day pardon any pun but um we'll uh see what we can get done <clears throat> I would really like to see, in fact, I'd really like to know if there is anything bigger than the Scorpio from Elho uh, for doing this job like in real life, like not a farming sim, obviously, but I mean, it'd be nice to have a farming sim. I'm just interested to know. So if anyone actually knows that, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to go off and do my own little bit of research and find out because I'm just interested to know what they use for doing this because I'd, I'd never really sort of considered it much as a as a problem um, I've certainly seen on on some channels that I watch millennial farmer and things like that that um, they certainly have a stone picker and go out and pick up stones but they're not picking up the small stones they're picking up uh, larger ones I mean something like this you don't see them picking up this size generally as far as I'm aware um, so just be interested to know what what actually is used out there um, So yeah, very very interesting I think but um, Nonetheless, it's not going to change what we're doing because we slap them up because we don't want to damage our equipment any more than we need to because that means it's going to cost us more money and As costing us more money is not good Make our money So nonetheless, we will continue picking up the stones with the Scorpio Obviously the Scorpio is the biggest unit we have available in Farming Sim 22. Um, and while it's only got a, what is it, a six, is it six meter? I don't think it's six meter, whatever the width is. Um, I'm just interested to know if there's anything else bigger out there that, that's used by farmers on a larger scale. Um, so yeah, I, I, I guess engineering wise, there probably wouldn't be a way of going too much bigger because of just purely the amount of power you need to scoop up the dirt and the stones, particularly the, the larger stones, like the smaller stones wouldn't be so much of an engineering problem, but um, certainly some of the bigger stuff um, would be a little bit more problematic. So, um, yeah, interested to know. And that's, that's why I'm sort of more interested, it's more of the engineering side of uh, what's out there and how people work with it. That's interesting to me. But anyway, nonetheless, I will have a bit of a look-see and I'll see what I can find out. Uh, unless, of course, you tell me down below in the comments. For free. Or even better, if you've got other information on it, 
uh, even real life photos or whatever else, um, then come over to our Discord and share them over there. Um, very interested to uh, increase our knowledge of what's happening out on the farms in real life. Three liters already. We need to put in um, a lime factory, so we can take the uh, the stones across and get it uh, brushed and converted into lime. Uh, that way, we don't have to uh, purchase any lime. Um, it's a little bit self-sufficient in that regard. So. Something we may have to have a look at. Um, there's a couple of silos we can look at putting in um, and production facilities in that regard. So maybe that might be uh, what we look at doing next is putting that in. Um, yeah, that'd, that'd be interesting to get that going. I haven't used much lime as yet. I don't even know if this field is going to require lime at this point in time, but I'm um, sure we'll find out soon enough. I think I might do this run here. Oh, pardon me, this run here, and then we'll put a hired hand to finish the rest of this field off. And we'll go off and uh, get some ploughing done. And our other two fields over on the other side of the, the vineyard. And uh, get some more progression. This guy will then have to come over and do the three fields over there ultimately. But um, and we'll also need to come over here and uh, finish prepping with this field, whether it be uh, lime or, or seeding or whatever else. We'll have a look before we do the plan we'll see what's going to be next on the field because we just bought it we're just um going through the process of prepping the soil anyway um we'll just have to see what else we need to do because I, I as i said before i didn't check to see if it needs lime so uh, if we're going to put lime on it we might want to do the lime next before we seed and then uh i guess we've got that down all right so we're going to head on over here and hand this over to our solid employee that can just continue on and get the job done so and off they go right so we're gonna head on over and jump in the Zerion now let's have a look uh, for this field over here okay the field 44 is the field in question um, as you can see it's been cultivated that's fine uh, it does need lime uh, it needs to have the stones and that's it. So we just need to put some lime on there. So uh, the next question is, do we have a lime spreader? Um, I don't know that I do. I have to buy a lime spreader. In any case, that's okay. We can do that too. Right. Let's, uh, let's just get this going first. So I'm going to start up. I think I'm just going to do this field here. I'm going to do field 42 first. And we'll just get these ploughed in and then uh, we can continue working on these ones as well. All right, off we go. As you can see, throwing up plenty of stones to the surface of the field. So uh, the Scorpio will be quite busy with these fields. So it'll have four fields in total to get done. The field that's already done. The field to our left has been uh, ploughed in. And then also these two fields that we're about to plough in that we've just harvested the sorghum off. So uh, be very busy in relation to getting those stones off and again we'll have to check the status of this field as well these two fields because we bought these uh we buy these with the crop on i can't remember now i think i think we might have i think we might have bought these with the crop on 
Um, so uh, we need to check the state of the fuel. We might put lime on these as well, which is fine. As long as we know what we've got to do, we can we can get it done. Now I have toyed with possibly joining these two fields up. You could curve that field around through there. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. I think we will. I think we'll just combine this field into one. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Nothing like making decisions on the fly. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to come around to this end. There's the theory of making this possibly another vineyard. Oh, was I going to do that? Oh, I was going to do that though, wasn't I? This is going to be another vineyard here. Um. No. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to um, combine these fields because this is going to be another, come another vineyard in the future. So, uh, no. Bad duck. Right. So for now, we'll just use them as separate fields. I mean, it's not really that much of a problem in doing it, but um, it just makes more sense. It makes it easier to manage if I can sort of semi-line up the vineyard with the, between the two fields. Um, operating and, and maintaining it is actually easier. In fact, I could probably join those two fields and just extend the vineyard as it currently lies. Um, so yeah, it makes more sense to keep that one there. get this done and then uh, assess what needs to be done here I have to have a look and see if we need to go get a spreader I think we've just got enough money at the moment in the bank to get us lime spreader um, now noting the fact we also did pay some extra money back from the loan we, we acquired and then sold off extra equipment um, we may just uh, have to loan another 10 15 thousand or whatever to uh, purchase a lime spreader and we actually need to buy some lime as well so we're gonna need some extra money cover that off might have to loan a little bit more again that's okay we have to do that we have to do it Second last run on this field. Off we go. All right, that field's done.
get this one cracked over as well and then we'll uh, see what's going on we'll look at the status of the grapes although I think we've got another two months or so before they're going to be ready I think it's um, October before they're going to be ready that's okay we're not quite ready for them to be harvested yet anyway uh, I mean that only by the fact that we've got enough stuff to do at the moment we do have our grape facility in place which we did uh, like a few episodes ago so we're, we're fully prepared to actually harvest the grapes no matter of what we're going to do meantime we've got all these fuel preps to get done because we do want to have uh, our other crops available to us in a timely manner uh, we miss our opportunity to seed at the right time then uh, to ourselves very much behind the proverbial eight ball Plenty of stones coming up, isn't there? And this is part of the reason I guess why you don't want to plough every time as well, because I, I think after every crop rotation, if you plough, you will get stones. Happy to stand correct up. I think that's how it works. You just need to cultivate in between. And uh, obviously, cultivators have the role with it, so it actually will minimize any stones that come up so um i still need to refresh myself for that to make sure i'm 100 with that but certainly we don't want to be plowing every time uh, even though it's quick and effective we unless we turn the stones off which we have no intention of doing um this means you're making more work for yourself at the same time so the time time gained by using a bigger tractor a bigger plow is lost by the fact you then got to wait and do the work to pick up all the stones so it's not really effective uh, proposition in that regard last run The other guy finished, has he? Hmm, maybe he has. Very efficient of him. I don't know if he's finished or if he's gone up the wrong way and sort of just done part of the field. Can check that very quickly. No, he's he's not finished at all. Like, huh? All right, I'll have to go up and fix him. This park is here for now. All right, what are you doing? 
He was supposed to go down the hill, not up the hill. Was my work that bad? You had to come back and correct it? Possibly so. Alright. You are probably this time. Leave him off to his own devices there and see how he goes. All right, so let's have a look at these fields like we said we're going to do. Um, field 41 needs lime. Field 39 and 42 uh, stones needs rolling. Okay, um, that's fine. A level of stones. See, it's hard to tell. That's... Definitely red. So it's a higher level of stone. So a roller's not going to get rid of those anyway. So that's fine. Um, stones pick up from there. Stones there. Stones there. Stones. stones everywhere. Look, stones everywhere. Someone's been around spread. Look at them all. Everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. There's hardly a field without stone. One field there. Two, three. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. Anyway. Uh, it doesn't really matter because the only fields we're worried about are our fields. So uh, let's come back and have a look at the growth. Uh, grapes aren't going to be that far away. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh, grapes. Grapes are next month. That's September. That's very good. So we should be harvesting our grapes. At the same time, we're going to be planting whether we do canola, wheat, barley, or whether we wait and do... Uh, the other crops. Mm. I don't know what we're going to do. What are we going to do? Anyway, what we do want to do as well is I do want to put some honey in. Um, so put some beehives in because I'm going to want some honey. I want to put some greenhouses in at some point as well, but I'm going to need some flat land for that. I mean, the land over here we could use um, for a greenhouse or two. Um, I don't have much other land really at the moment to put in more in, so um, that's a uh, problem. Anyway, at least he's going down the hill this time, so he'll he'll fix all that up. Um, I wonder if it's worthwhile getting another Scorpio. Like, let's have a look. I didn't see. Uh, in fact, I did have a look. No, that's nice too, isn't it? Too. Two crampy trailers. Um, they're a good price, aren't they? Sixty-five percent off. Um, but that's that's okay. I want to have a look. At stone picker. Two thousand for another stone picker. Is it worthwhile having two of them? Um, so we could have multiple fields. In the situation we're in now. Um, You know, I think I'm. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'll buy another another Scorpio because. Uh, oh, and actually, no, 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 no. Back, 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 back. No, come on, duck. What you were going to do was a fertilizer spreader to spread some lime. Got the breed all there for forty five thousand. Uh, that's fertilizer only. Fertilizer, fertilizer on lime. That's from Steve. That's seventy eight thousand. That's the big one. That one's just fertilizer. I guess the only one we've got is that breed all there. Okay, so we're going to buy that um, combination. Oh, wait, okay. Um, we're going to buy that for 45,000. What's it going to take? 9,000 litres. We're going to buy that. Uh, hang on. Spreading unit. What's that? 18 metre, 12 metre. I'm going to buy the... Bigger one, narrow tires, yep. Uh, I'm going to Continental Extension. Um, out of 14,000. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. That's 55,000. It gives us 13,000 to buy lime. Okay. Now we can. Oh, can we get lime? From the farm, we can. All right, let's um. 
Right. Let's uh, go and grab that. I'm going to come back to the farm and see if I can fill up with lime here. Don't know if I can. Um, I am going to need to move the zero out of the way. So let's do that directly. You need to move out of my way. I'm going to need that. Hopefully, I don't have to go back to the farm or back to the shop and uh, buy anything. All right, so park you there. All right, jump back out. Head on over here. Then drive to the shop. I need to refuel this guy too. Uh, we haven't we got a fuel tank here. I don't think I've bought a fuel tank either. Storage of diesel. You have to do that and fill up some diesel. That means a fuel tanker and uh, all that money. Right. And we continue off. Alright, so we're here at the shop now. We'll pick up the breedle and then uh, we'll go back and see if we can actually get some lime. I mean, we can fill up the fuel here, I think. So uh, the fuel's not all that far away. But, um, but we'll see uh, whether I can. I'm pretty sure the Stevie uh, all in one will provide me with, uh, with lime. That should be okay. Whether or not. Have enough to fill it as a matter of together. I think I'll be going down to zero dollars once I fill this. Okay. Into the farm we go. Covers off. Well, this is this is not going to be good, but anyway, we'll we'll just let it go. Right. Now let's see lime. Let's see how much it's going to cost us. Oh no, might be all right. Put the cover down. Just pretend it didn't go through the silo. And we're good. Excellent. And now we need to spread some lime. Let's have a look at which fields it was, and then uh, that will be pretty close to the uh, the episode once we get this going. Um, oops, needs lime. The field forty one, and field forty four. All right. So let's go and spread this down. Realign my uh, my width calibration. Okay. All right. So we'll finish this off, and uh, that will take us to the end of the episode. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, we need to turn some lights on because it's getting very dark again. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying the series. We're enjoying bringing the series to you. Uh, we're enjoying our time here on Hort Belleron actually a map that uh, I didn't think I was going to enjoy as much as I am enjoying it so um so yeah I, I urge you all to give it a go if you haven't given it a go because you don't like European maps or whatever else um give this one give this one a chance it's uh quite scenic it's not too tight or anything else like that um and I, I think Giants have done a pretty good job of this one um I do think Elm Creek is the better of the two but uh that's okay done a pretty good job of this one anyway so yeah, we'll continue on, we'll get this finished off and then that will be it for the day because it's getting quite dark, we need to go to bed and uh, we will continue on in the next day when we have more stones to pick up. Joy, oh joy. Alright. So yeah, if you did uh, enjoy the episode, then make sure you press that little like button if you don't mind, that helps us with the algorithm and all that sort of stuff and that's ultimately important to... Uh, views and new viewers being made available made, made known to the channel or by the channel being made known 
Uh, and if you do decide to press that subscribe button, then make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well. Be made aware of when new videos like this are available on the channel. Uh, would be greatly appreciated. And of course, don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. The details of all those are down below in the comments. Uh, there are multiple ways as well where you can help support the channel, uh, much like Grumpy Koala, Rithgar, Cranky Pants, um, Upsalazy, and Smoolini, Mr. Smoolini, uh, by uh, either Patreon, uh, YouTube membership, or via Twitch subscription. Um, so please feel free to do that if you wish. It's not expected or anything else like that. Uh, however, it is greatly appreciated as well. So thanks to those guys that are supporting the channel. Uh, and DC Dave, I almost forgot DC Dave. My apologies, Dave. All right, but that is it. That is it for here for Hort Belleron. So uh, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Farming Simulator 22. See you later. Bye.